300, 400, 500, 600, and... Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. And as you guys just saw, I just broke the speed limit. And I'll be showing you exactly how to do it in today's video. But you might be confused at first. Like, hey Brian, didn't you just upload a video a few days ago basically showing off that the Bruley is the fastest vehicle in the game? Which is true. And you guys saw in the video that it can reach up to 330 miles an hour. And, you know, I sort of concluded there saying it's the fastest. But no, there is is a way to go literally 700 miles an hour which I'll be showing you exactly how to do it in today's video. So before we jump right into the video please make sure to leave a like because I actually took a very long time to even get to 700 miles an hour. It's a very difficult process and took me a while to learn this. So if you could leave a like that'll help me a lot. Anyway let's get right into the video. So yes the Bruley is the fastest vehicle in the game but with a trick messing with admin commands and also I'll be showing you how to do it in public servers without admin. I'm able to get the Volt Bike to over 700 miles an hour because the Volt Bike has one special ability and that is that it has extremely fast acceleration. As you guys can see, it's literally getting to 200 miles an hour within a matter of seconds, which is very, very good. The fast acceleration in the game even beating the Roadster. Combined with the acceleration, if you mess with the gravity of the Volt Bike, it actually gets an insane speed boost. So first, I'm going to show you how to do it with, you know, free you know do it for free and that is you need to go ahead and grab a c4 because it's actually a glitch that you can do to do in public servers so grab the c4 over here at the gun store and get, make sure to get all the c4s because you might have to do it multiple times but head all the way over to the river to do it now i'll show you really quickly how to do this you can also do this in VIP servers, which I'll be showing you how to, but the C4 glitch is pretty much the same thing, but you can do it in public. So put your, your Volt bike like right over the edge of this ramp over here at the river, and then um, put the C4 just right into there, and just like sort of like right into the wheel of the Volt bike, just right in here, you know, sort of like just right in, just, just like that, okay? And then your Volt bike will start to, you know, levitate and hover around the ground, and this can bring you to insane speed. So if I just get over to this terrain over here, as you can see, I am definitely getting way over the speed limit. Look, we got already reached 300, but however, when you go super, super fast, there is a problem, and the problem is you become uncontrollable. Like, it's just really hard to control once you reach around 300 to 400 miles an hour. So, that becomes a very big problem because I saw y'all in the comments. Don't you think I read the comments? I do. I do read the comments. I don't necessarily respond to all of them, but I do read them. And a lot of y'all been actually flexing, saying, hey, Brian, I got the Volt bike to 500 miles an hour. And that might get you to think that at the ice race track might be the best place to actually get 700 miles an hour, which is actually not true because I believe you can only get around 500 here. Um, it is a very flat, you know, terrain, obviously, right over here. But however, it sort of flings you up in the air. And sometimes when you go like super fast, you can see I just stay stuck at a certain speed. And the problem is that you need to stay in the air, but also yet not really touch the ground too much. And the real problem is that the ice racetrack is actually just too good. And the thing is that it's just, I just say it's like too flat or something because it just can't work. Like you just can't keep on going. And the point is, is that the Volt bike, in order to actually get a lot of speed, you need to sort of be like, hovering on the ground but like not in the air as you can see in the air the the mile per hour completely freezes but if you're close to the ground look how fast i just accelerate right there so you can just keep on accelerating if you're just extremely close to the ground which is why i found this place out over here right all the way over here there is a very nice strip of land and it is mostly terrain as you can see but it is a bit difficult to do also, by the way, if you want to do this in VIP servers, I recommend you set the gravity to around 0 0.02 or 4. Or you can mess around 6 or 8, it doesn't matter, but I'll do 2 because that's what I've been usually doing. If you're just starting out, I just do 4 because 4 is, you know, I recommend that. You automatically get to see how to do it, but I just do 2. Um, also, I would not recommend 0 because um, you would just be flying up in the air and will never come back down to the ground. So I would do 0 0.02. And gravity, yes, it does affect the Volt bike. And you might be thinking it might affect other vehicles. It actually makes vehicles slower. But on the Volt bike, it actually makes it way, way, way faster. That's how we can actually hit 
huge speeds. So this specific route over here can get you to around 600. Uh, I did this one of my first tries. I was able to get to 600. As you can see, I got to 482 right over there. But the thing is you sort of need to be on the levitating zone. Basically what I mean is that you got to be like really close to the ground, but not exactly touching it. So if you just continue to do that, you will be able to get to insanely high speeds. So here's how you do it. I'm just gonna do it slowly. So first of all, you gotta make a right over here and you gotta like sort of like fly over this terrain right here and not jump up in the air and then sort of just go through. This is the most difficult part, which like I'm just not really that good at, but if I'm lucky, I'm able to go through here. And that is, I gotta like fly over this like little piece of, um. Now this is like a beach, right? So I'm flying over this, <laughs> this, this like open area. You want to try to avoid these bumps right up here. So you want to sort of like just fly over it because yes, you can fly over it and then just go through here, but avoid these bumps over here and also avoid the bridge. I got to go through here and then continue to go. Well, you just keep on going through here and then you can possibly make it to the icebergs and get a pretty high speed. Also, if you use rocket fuel, you actually will increase your speed by a lot. As you can see, I'm already like, look at that, 690, oh my goodness. That's quite fast. So yes, I would recommend using rocket fuel if you want to get even higher speeds. Now, here is an attempt where I got 660 miles an hour. All right, attempt number 425,000. This is like so many attempts. Anyway, here we go. Okay, we actually did it and... Oh, oh, 665. I think that was the maximum speed. Wow, that's like, that's like my highest right now. Yes, as you can see, that's how you do it. So basically, you just got to go through all the way right over here, make a right, got to go like directly through these trees and um, try to go through it. Well, you want to try to go to the left of that tree. But I mean, that, that's, I think you get the message of how I'm able to do this. So as you can see right over here, if you go all the way over to the end, you actually might get some more boosts. Like, I mean, if you go back here, you may be able to accelerate more faster and possibly get to higher speeds, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's actually quite difficult to control. Um, but I just start right away over that beach and then head over here and then just continue to go right over here. As you can see, 500 and then 600 and then use some rocket fuel at the end to, whoa, oh, oh, wow. Um, this was not expected. I was expecting to hit the wall. But as you can see, I hit 700 right up here. And wait, what the, this something is wrong. Okay, so now I think you guys kind of get the picture of how I'm able to do all of that. So here's my, you know, sort of like how I got 700. Basically, I'll show you, play the footage right now. Okay, so let's do this. All right, all right. Okay, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and yes. So yeah, as you can see in that footage, I did everything perfectly. I started right over here on this beach, as you can see, and I just went right over here. Well, not flying like this, but like sort of like hovering close to the ground, which gives me that insane speed. See, I'm not touching it, but if you t if you touch it, it's fine, but you just want to keep on going and you want to continue to head and then use a little bit of rocket fuel at the end, which can give you your insane speed. Now I'm predicting that I probably could continue to do this and try many, many more times and like sort of like fly over all the way over to this island right over here and then if I could I could turn and go here and possibly get even faster maybe 800 but however that doesn't seem likely because if you turn you actually lose speed and you want to gain speed also keep in mind that if you're flying over the water and you use rocket fuel it doesn't really work that well you want to fly over land you sort of want to like hover over the land sort of like this is what I call I call it the levitating zone so as you can see right over here I'm sort of levitating over the ground but like I'm going super super fast and you can use rocket fuel in the levitating zone to basically boost your volt bike to insane speeds so yeah, that's how I broke the speed limit, y'all. And yes, you can do this in VIP servers, and you can do this in a public server with the Volt Bike and using a C4. However, like in a VIP server and also in public servers, you know, doing the C4 probably would not exactly help you too much um, because, you know, yes, it will give you to insane speeds, um, but, you know, it sort of just goes away after a minute, so that's not really gonna help you. And a VIP server is like, it's not really gonna help you too much in grinding, but it's really cool that you can get to 700 miles an hour. Anyway, tell me how fast you guys got. Like, if you guys did this track, tell me if you guys could even get higher than what I did. I'm actually curious. 
Anyway, I guess you can technically say the Volt Bike basically breaks all the barriers and can be the fastest, but however, this is only with a glitch and only uh, with messing with the gravity a little bit, which the glitch actually does. The C4 actually messes with the Volt Bike's gravity, which allows you to levitate and get those speeds as well. So yeah, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all later when I hit 1,000, or maybe my next video. I don't know. Bye!